Hey everybody, Scott Pierce here at Listings to Leads and I want to walk you through how to create a custom landing page for any type of lead generation you can imagine. So first, before we do that, I'm going to spend a few minutes to walk through some examples of these landing pages. If you want to skip past this, go ahead and skip past it and you'll see me in the uh, Listing to Leads account. That's where you can stop the video and start watching from there. But real quickly, this is an awesome landing page, been a top producing landing page for months and months and months, the same landing page by this uh, client. And uh, mar uh, marketing, advertising for uh, uh, resort lifestyle communities in Naples, Florida. So a great landing page and using the Facebook lead form registration to generate leads off of Facebook ads from this landing page. If there's any landing page you wanna see more of, go ahead and pause the video and you can take a look at it, see the text, Look at the image a little bit more. Here's another great one, uh, advertising waterfront properties. And so when you click on the button, it does a form uh, re redirect and takes you to the website where the IDX was set up uh, for me to look at the uh, waterfront properties at her website. Uh, and she gets the name and email of the person clicking that button. Here's another great one, top producing landing page. Uh, hot list of homes under $200,000. So again, you click here and it's taking you to the page at the website where there's a list of homes displayed that are under $200,000 and the agent's getting the name and email. Another one, right? It's a very similar again, Daniel Island, South Carolina. Again, click that, going to the IDX at the website or MLS. Now here's a couple of other really cool ones. I love this one. What a great idea. Not generating buyer or seller leads per se, but getting people into their database, creating a relationship, creating engagement. Uh, those graduation signs, right? So people put in their address to get one of the signs delivered to them. How awesome is that? Again, a top producing landing page uh, the last week or so. Here's another one talking about new construction homes in Miami. So great video. The whole video is actually pretty good. We don't need to play the whole thing. You get the idea. But putting video to the left of the lead form. And notice now we're collecting name, email, and phone number. So we're not using the Facebook registration lead form button, but the actual uh, form fields. Now here are a couple of landing pages from my account. Uh, this is one for new construction. It's actually just restarting the video. So let's take a few seconds here. And so we got a full screen video as the background. We've got a countdown counter counting down to when these uh, builder incentives end. So what a beautiful landing page, right? People are able to see into the uh, new construction, what it's gonna look like. There's some information here uh, about incentives ending soon, getting more and more people to fill out that lead form and become leads. Cute little landing page here that's very popular, performs really well for people that build and use it. Stop renting, start owning. Very simple uh, landing page. And again, this could be a redirect. So people put in just their email in this case and uh, go to your website where they can look at more homes for sale uh, within a uh, certain price range that's appropriate for first time home buyers. Another one for our down payment assistance. You know, and these are videos. Some of these videos you can just find on the internet, especially if they're from, you know, the government or local agencies where you can use them. All right, you're just putting the link in. I'll show you where to put the links in and how to do redirects, uh, all that good stuff. But a lot of great videos that you can actually use or that you may be paying for or that you may have that you can use within listing to leads. All right. And this was a, another really good one. That are looking to buy a home in Granite Bay this winter, showing your home covered with snow. So if you're thinking about selling your home this winter, what I'd like to be able to offer you is to come out to your house today or at your convenience to take some beautiful exterior photos showing off the lush landscaping that you've got. Right, so similar to the uh, graduate signs, the offer of taking pictures of people's homes, and this is more appropriate for the fall, so think September, October, before the winter season comes, you know, so when people are thinking about selling, you know, in the winter time, right, wouldn't they love to have photos before that? So you can use a custom landing page for that type of thing as well. And just another example of a uh, full screen video background landing page, all right, that you can use with listings to lead. So let's go ahead and create a landing page. So the landing page I'm going to create, don't focus or worry so much about the specific landing page I'm going to create. 
But what I do want you to do is understand how to create it, how to change the images and add video and the countdown clock and all that kind of good stuff. So that's what we want to uh, focus on today. So for, I'm on the, now I'm in the landing page tab in my listing Salids account. So click the landing page tab. You'll come to the landing page dashboard. And first things first is we want to select which one of these custom landing pages we want to build. They're all the same thing. The difference between buyers and sellers is in the seller lead form, we ask for the address uh, default and in the buyers we don't, all right? That's the only difference. You can customize these lead forms any way you want. Uh, so don't worry about not being able to do something. It's more for, you know, is a landing page for buyers or sellers? And then will it have a free report or not? Just really more for your organization more than anything. So. I'm just gonna say free landing page buyers, and I'll say Folsom, stop renting, start owning. Now, you may already have another one, right, for the similar idea, right, same area, same idea, and that is fine. You get unlimited landing pages with listing leads, and so having multiple landing pages for the same offer in the same area, is awesome because one landing page for the for that uh, that call to action may appeal to some people, but not every not other people. And so, the, another landing page that I have for that same offer in the same area may appeal to some of the other people. Does that make sense? So, having multiple landing pages for the same offer in the same area can be great, so that different people are attracted and different landing pages appeal to different people. All right, so that said, click add the green add landing page button and that will take us to the landing page editor. So once the next page comes up, we'll be able to edit the landing page. So we're just gonna work our way down the left hand side. And so for background, I can upload a different image just by clicking upload image. I can toggle to the video and either upload a video or put in a YouTube or Vimeo link. So a lot of options for a video right there. And this is where it'll do the full screen background. Another thing is shade image. We shade the image so that it makes it easier to read the text on the page. So depending on the image, right, the text can be easier or harder to read. So make use of that option as appropriate. I'm gonna skip the social media share image for now, but you can change the styles and color if needed. So for background, for example, you can make that background a little bit lighter or darker. I'm gonna click on preview, make it a little bit darker, click on preview and you can see that got a little bit darker, makes that text a little easier to read. Custom page content. So this is where you could do a countdown counter. So for example, uh, let's say, yep, let's say it's for down payment assistance and uh, rates are gonna go up, are expected to go up after the next Fed meeting, which is, you know, October 31st, let's just say. And I'll say hurry before the rates rise again. And then for this, I'll toggle that to the appropriate date. And now I'll do preview. So there's a lot of applications for that countdown counter. It could be an offer you are making. It could be related to builder incentives that are ending at some point. It could be something like this. All right, you get the idea. Also under custom page content, I could add video to the left of the lead form. So let's say you got a video and I'll just take preview again and now there's that video and then if I want to select autoplay I can all right so we're kind of getting going here looks pretty good now I got lead form text and this is where we can change the text on that lead form so you saw a lot of the examples of top producing uh, landing pages uh, from different clients but I can put here awesome
All right, click preview. All right, not bad, not bad. So, and then it says uh, $18,000. And in my area, actually, uh, the max down payment assistance available is 16,000. I think it's like 3% of up to $600,000, all right? So what don't, you would not, you would not wanna put, if you're gonna do down payment assistance, for example, 3% of up to X dollars, just put that max up to, right? So up to whatever that max amount is. So whatever your landing page is gonna be about, right? So we looked through some of the examples here, Maple Floors Ultimate Resort Lifestyle Community, right? So you get an example of how that text looks. All right, so that when we come back here and we're editing this text to be appropriate for our uh, situation, and here's the different lead uh, form options for the different form fields. So you got those options right there. We got page two we can edit. Now that can have a different video even on the background. So on page two, we've got where we're gonna collect the phone number. So if you wanna leave that there, you can, or if you want, I could say, you know, on page two, I'm going for buyer leads. And we got it as optional, so I could make it required. Or I could say hide, and there won't even be a page two. All right, so I'll just go from page one to the success page. All right, now let me go ahead and close that out. And let's take a look at the advanced options because there's some really good things in here. All right, so first of all, your tags. If you've got your uh, CRM connected in your profile, uh, you can put your follow-up plan name here. So my follow-up plan is called Folsom Rent to Own. You gotta put it exactly. So it's best to copy and paste the uh, follow-up plan name from your CRM right here. And if you're gonna generate leads from overseas, you might wanna use open format. All right, do the redirect after form completion. So if you wanted to do a redirect after form completion, don't ever put in listings to lead for your redirect. That wouldn't make any sense, but just to show you how that works. Now we got an autoresponder. Click enable, give it a subject line. get the idea so there's our autoresponder put in a comma there I like to make sure my spacing looks all good I'll show you what that autoresponder looks like a little bit later now I can upload a custom PDF so I'll go choose file and let's see if I can find a PDF do save all changes and then you'll see now if you've got your pixel put into your listings to leads profile that will appear here you've got embed code for the landing page any leads I generate will fall into my leads tab but also I can find them right here as well so I'm gonna go ahead and click save all changes just one more time I think I already did that uh, but it never hurts to click Save All Changes. Uh, again, if uh, you're not absolutely sure if you did Save All Changes previously, I'll go ahead and close that out. And uh, now right here, so view, copy, link, share, and post. So one last thing, I'm gonna do my social media share image, customize. And I'm going to do, I'll say, Folsom Renters. And I'm gonna change font, the uh, font from one to two lines. Stop. And 
I'm going to change that background color. I'm going to change the text. All right, I like that one. And we got medium and bold. All right, you can select a different image altogether. So I can click here and select a different image altogether. Hit save. Now, it can take a couple of minutes for that image to, uh, well, actually, that's not true because in this case, well, yeah, let's just see. Because sometimes it can take Facebook a minute or two to clear the cache, but we haven't posted this to Facebook yet, so that, that really should not be an issue. So uh, let's just let this save. Now, if you need to, check down here, Facebook image text check. So if you want to see, well, you know, does that image have too much text in it? You can always upload the image here and you can always download the image by clicking this button right here or download image. And then if you ever need to clear your Facebook cache, click right there. All right. So go ahead and close that out. Now, I think the easiest thing to do is click post. And yeah, that, that didn't change yet. So sometimes let's do this. Let's click save. And let's see, there we go. All right. So full sum renter, stop throwing money away in rent, learn how to qualify for up to $16,000. That looks pretty good to me. Looks pretty good to me. So then all I gotta do is down here, you'll see post now, schedule post. So you know, a lot of times if it's late at night, click schedule post. And I'll say, you know, post at tomorrow on the 24th and I'll say 3 p.m. or I could come in here and just change that and say you know do that actually 10 a.m. so tomorrow at 10 a.m. I want that to post All right and tomorrow at 10 a.m. that will post to my Facebook page my LinkedIn and my Twitter now if you want to, I can just go post. And of course, I can edit anything in here that I want just by clicking in. And I could just do post now and it will post to my Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn in the next few minutes. All right. So super easy to do. Again, let's just go ahead and take a look at these uh, great examples one more time. These are top producing landing pages. And I want you to get some really good ideas. I want you to get some good inspiration, right? I want you to see how they're doing things, right? So we talked about all of the stuff, right? How to add video, how to change the lead form, right? How to do a redirect, how to make sure that the uh, leads are going to your CRM. So a lot of good stuff here. Hopefully you got a lot of good uh, ideas and now you know how to do custom landing pages using your listing to leads account. So if you have any questions on this, by all means, of course, get with support and we'll talk to you soon.